Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Starting in my bathroom. Um, so I just got done taking a shower and I'm getting ready for the day. I got to, so before my things dry, I need to actually like pull them forward and clip them so that they actually stay down and don't part in the middle. My hair just like naturally parts in the middle and once it dries, it's hard to get it to not stay like that. So as you see, it's already starting to do it. So just bring them together. And that's how I look. So welcome to a new video. This is my weird hairstyle. And I'll be back in a moment. All right, ready for the day. The reason for making this video is I'm starting like a challenge for myself. Um, it's actually like a common challenge. It's called 75 hard or 75 soft, which is 75 days of doing like these four or five certain things every single day for the 75 days. 75 hard is very strict. 75 soft is less strict, a little more lenient on what you can and cannot do. I'm more like starting it as like build habit tracking type of thing. Um, so I'm actually gonna make breakfast and then I will talk about it because I wanna like write down the points that I wanted to talk about. So I'm a little more organized with it because I'm a very unorganized person when it comes to doing my videos. But in real life, like, I'm very organized when it comes to, like, plant and pastry or organizing things that we do. I'm a very listless list type of person. The dogs have to go out, as you can hear their little feetsies. You guys need to go potty? You want to go outside and go potty? Let's go. So I started taking some supplements. I started taking iron because I had really bad, like, uh, restless, we'll focus on it, restless leg syndrome stuff. And my doctor told me to start taking iron. She wants me to try iron before I try, like, some type of, like, actual medication for it to see if maybe just the iron will help with the restless leg. And then she also suggested maybe, because... Uh, I don't take medication for my bipolar disorder. So there's times when I am just super wiped out because of it. So she suggested start taking this B complex. This one has also has vitamin C and zinc to help immune support. Um, and that tastes so gross. It smells pretty gross too. Ugh. I don't know what that is. Maybe the C and the Z, I, I don't know. I kind of actually, because the scene, I've taken like airborne before, it kind of has a little bit of the smell of that stuff. Hmm. I'm just hoping it doesn't upset my stomach. It said um, to take with water in a meal. So I just got done eating my breakfast and I have my water. So to the challenge that I'm, my original reason for making a new video. Um, the 75 hard is what it was called when it was first made up in 2019. So the challenge was a strict challenge to improve your mental health and well-being, including like your physical health. The original guidelines for the 75 hard were to follow a strict diet with no alcohol and no meals off plan, no matter what. Two 45 minute workouts with one of them being outside. Drink a gallon of water every day read 10 pages of a book, no audiobooks allowed, and to take a progress picture. So with 75 hard, people then started to do a 75 soft challenge that wasn't quite as strict, which was to follow a diet, alcohol on social occasions, and one off plan meal a week, one 45 minute workout, drink a gallon of water, read 10 pages of a book, and then the progress picture was optional. Um, so I kind of am using that as an inspiration for my list, which um, I am doing 75 days, and I will show on my 
tracker because I do have a like tracker app that I'm using to do this. And so my plan is to eat under 1600 calories per day. My range is between like 14 and 16. If I go anywhere above 1600 calories a day, I tend to just stay the same or even sometimes gain weight. Um, with one cheat meal a week, um, usually like this week is pumpkin patch day. Um, and so that day, that dinner will be my cheat meal because I'm making this like French beef short rib, braised beef short rib thing with wine in it and beef stock and butter and all this and with pureed mashed potatoes and all this stuff. Um, so, I mean, I will still try to stay in the 1600 calorie range, but that would be like my off plan meal for the week. Exercise for 45 minutes a day, any combination of exercise, doesn't have to be outside. Um, my old goal was 30 minutes a day, so I'm just bumping it up 15 minutes for this challenge for the 75 days. Uh, drink a gallon of water. I'm going to try to do that. Sometimes if I drink too much water too fast, I kind of get an upset stomach. So sometimes I try to, you know, space that out a little bit more and sometimes I don't get to that gallon. So the gallon part will be a challenge for me. Uh, read for 20 minutes a day. So I like the 10 page thing, but I read quite fast and um, I like I can read a 400 page book in one day if I just sit there and do and just read. Um, my mom loved reading, my grandma, well, my mom loves reading, my grandma loved reading. Um, and so I'm just going to do like a 20 minute limit and I could probably do like 30 or 40 pages in that 20 minutes, depending on how much I like the book. And then for, I'm not going to do, I'm going to do a beginning progress picture, I guess, and then, and compare it to after, at the end of the 75 days to really see like um, the difference between. Real quick, I figured I would show my current weight, uh, which is 238 point something. It'll, it'll be on the screen. Um, and so I will compare my start weight, the weight you just saw, to the weight I am at the end of the 75 days. My, my goal is to lose weight overall, over any of the goals of reading or whatever. So that is my ultimate goal in this. So I wanted to share my the app I'm using. So I will I did a screen recording of me going through it a little bit. Um, so I will put that up while I talk. So it's just called Habit Tracker. So this is the app that I'm using, the Habit Tracker. Um, I'm showing you like the page on the App Store. It shows like some of the things that you can do in the preview. As you can see here, I am tracking five habits for the 75 days. The reading, one cheat meal a week, stay under the calories, exercise, and drink water. I also wanted to show the habit itself a little more detail. You can name it, describe it, assign it an emoji. You can put what type of habit it is, the duration that you need to do this habit, or how often you need to do it per week, per day, um, or like with the calories, I set it up to 1600 calories. You can then set your days. So the 75 days for me will end December 19th. And this is just a very simple habit tracker that I am using. Yeah, so that is my plan. <laughs> um, I know I've come on here several times with plans and then oh, I'm going to post and you know, the, and I've said it before, I'm not a hundred percent into this. Like I want to do it. I want to share it. Um, and it's been a struggle with this. I'm an introverted person so doing this is kind of like, cause I know that people are going to like, even if it's just one person, I know a stranger is going to see this. It, yeah. Um, so it's just like, I know. And like in, in real life, I'm by myself a lot because I am a stay at home girlfriend, 
whatever you want to call it, because Sean and I aren't married, but we've been together for 16 years, over 16 years. And I'm like, it's like I'm a stay at home wife of the 50s. And I like it. I like that lifestyle. That's my plan. Um, it is Thursday. I'm going this, like this little video, I don't know how long it actually is going to end up being, um, is going to be up on tomorrow, <laughs> on Friday. Um, I'm going to, with this challenge, I'm going to do a weekly check-in. As I'll record, I, I started it on a weird day. Like it'd be better if I started it on a Monday um, to a Sunday type of thing. But I'm, I'm kind of setting it up so that I record all week until Thursday, edit it and put it up on a Friday type of thing. Um, and then I'm gonna try to do videos in between because that's what I wanna do. Um, so after I can stop recording on this one, um, I'm gonna start editing it, but I'm also gonna start recording like a regular vlog, which will include the oh, chalkboard art. The chalkboard has been blank since, honestly, 4th of July, I think I did something. Um, but it's, I haven't done anything yet for fall. So I'm gonna do a art for Puppy Match Day for this Sunday. And then, that doesn't even, like that doesn't even need to be in this video because that's not what this is about. Anyway, I am rambling. All right, so thank you for watching this video if you did. Um, and I will see you in the next one.